Hey guys, Thunder E here. We're back with uh, Xbox uh, Game Pass or Xbox Cloud Gaming on your PC. I did show you guys a video of, uh, of the walkthrough of it on iOS. This is on PC. I'm actually using the least powerful PC I have. This is the Surface uh, Pro X. It's an ARM based Surface uh, laptop or tablet, if you will. It's a two in one. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the keyboard back there, but you get the idea. Now the idea is I wanted to showcase this on the least powerful PC. Very simple. What you do need is an Xbox controller. Mouse and keyboard is not supported yet. And you need to be part of the beta. Now, if you're not part of the beta, it's fine. Uh, that will come up at some point, but you wanna to go to xbox.com slash play. And you wanna to scroll to the bottom till you see, try the beta, boom. You're gonna click on that. And then it's gonna prompt you to sign in. Or so you do want to go ahead and sign in. I did have a sign in snafu. I don't know why, but I am in and I do have it here. This is Xbox Game Pass running on my Surface uh, Pro X. Now, as you can see clearly, I'm just going to scroll through. You do have, of course, uh, featured games at the very top. Uh, you can jump back into the games you're playing. Um, then you've got, of course, just a general Game Pass showing you recently added. Uh, the show, MLB The Show 2021. And then you've got the whole library of games here, see all games. So we can go into that and see all the games that we have available, which is great. So I have my controller and I can also use my controller to navigate as well. And uh, it's pretty seamless. Uh, you can navigate using, of course, your keyboard and mouse. Doesn't mean you can use it to play. So. Let's jump back in uh, into a game and you guys know very well I like to play, um, you know, Forza. So Forza is an easy game to jump in, setting up your stream and it will play. So you have it looking like this right now. You can see the, of course, the address bar. It looks like a browser setup. Uh, but if you're playing on something like the um, Surface Pro X, or if you're using Edge as a browser or Safari, you can actually pin it as a desktop app, which I'll show you in a second, but I just wanted to do some gameplay here. Uh, so you guys get, get an idea of what it looks like, but it's definitely playing. So while we're waiting for that, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So you wanna go to that three icon there in the corner and you want to go to where it says apps and you want to go to open an Xbox Game Cloud app, or basically would say pin as an application. And boom, now it's running as its own browser window, which is great. So it doesn't have that search bar function or anything like that, which is pretty cool. So I've got it pinned at the bottom there as an application. And uh, now I'm just gonna sync my data and we can start playing some Forza. I think it's it's a great experience because what it means is that we can now start gaming on less powerful devices. We don't need a powerful PC to necessarily game all the way through. I hope that when it fully launches, we do get keyboard and mouse support, especially for a lot of the FPSs or the shooters where that would be quite compatible. But usual login process you expect from Forza which is to be expected, and then we get into the gameplay session. As somebody pointed out in my last video, the reason why it takes a long time to load is because it's still running on Xbox One hardware, not the Series X or Series S hardware. So hopefully once that transition switches over, we're gonna see, of course, faster load times, quick logins, but we're in. And I'm just gonna increase the volume for a second here. Oops, ah, man, what was I looking at? Okay, let's go, let's go. All right, so you notice that there were some latency issues. Um, is some lag again this is a beta so it's not perfect which is why i'm driving the crazy format not sure if this has to do just with the beta or the fact that i'm playing on the um the surface pro x so that could be 
could be something to add to it, but we have to just wait and see. Let's go ahead and let's try a different game. Oh, just to show you, some of the menus uh, are on screen, of course. This is a touchscreen device. I can tap the Xbox button that brings up my Xbox menu. And then I can also tap the three buttons there, which says enter full screen, uh, quick game. So if I enter full screen, I get a full screen experience, which is actually pretty cool. So I, I do have a full screen gaming experience here, which I didn't realize. But then again, I'm still having some of these glitches. So it's to be expected, but I can get a full screen gaming experience playing, um, you know, Forza Horizon and I can go ahead and pause, then I can just jump out of this quick game. So well, let's jump into some gears and let's see how gears actually works. Gears here and it's running. I still noticed some of that flickering I got earlier and my input is a bit slow and sluggish, but some drifting as you can see again, some of that there. So um, I would say this has been my experience only on the Surface um, Pro X. I will show you some footage on PC directly from my gaming PC using off the browser so you guys can see. But here it is. Um, so hopefully this gets fixed and I just wanted to show you a different game here. So here's a screen capture of the experience using a Windows x86 machine, be it Intel, AMD, and you're going to see it run really well. We have the application signed into our browser for Xbox Game Pass Cloud. We're going to go, go ahead and jump onto a full screen. Um, and of course, since this is on edge, you can pin this application if you want to, or you can go ahead and uh, also extend it to full screen. So you can actually create a desktop app, which I'm doing right now. And once that's up, I have it separated from the browser and I have it as a separate app and I'm going to actually blow that up so we can play some Forza Horizon. And I'll keep quiet through some of the gameplay sessions here so you guys can just see how smooth it runs. It runs much better than it did on the ARM machine. So we're in the early days of using the Xbox Game Pass here on PC and uh, there's some issues on certain devices but that's to be expected uh, but I can't wait to see this develop hopefully you guys have had a, a good idea of how it works like I said on any regular PC it, it will run fine this is just an ARM based machine and I wanted to test it on this because uh, I wanted to see how low it would go or maybe they just haven't gotten into ARM machines yet so hopefully soon and we'll see more of this down the line. So if you guys have any questions in the comments, or if any of you are using Chromebooks, test it out on a Chromebook. Let me know how it works because I don't have a Chromebook. Um, and otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.